That video room ain't gonna be a youth hangout. Hi, Bob Fonseca here in the media room. Of course, it is record store day. It is Saturday afternoon, the 23rd of April, and I am going to do a little uh, record store day flip, record flip of my haul from record store day. I hit two stores. I'll explain why in just a minute, but I started at Piranha Records in Round Rock. They opened at 10. I was in line with some media roommates around 830 line moved pretty well it wrapped all around the strip center down one side around the end and out the back it was crazy it was crazier than any black friday line i've ever been in but uh a pretty good haul i maybe went a little overboard but i'm celebrating some good show news this weekend so i treated myself to a few discs and let's go ahead and take a look at them right now all right these are in no particular order uh this was the first one i picked up at piranha it kind of broke the seal i went through several bins before i even uh picked this out and i was a little hesitant about it i like joan jett I've seen her in concert um and it was a very good show uh this is an acoustic treatment of some of her songs most of her big hits and i thought well what the heck for 21 bucks Anytime you can get a quality piece of vinyl for 20, 21 bucks, you're, you're in good shape. But uh, there's the track listing there. Uh, Record Day exclusive 2022. Joan Jett and the Black Hearts. Uh, Acoustics is the name of it. There you go, right there, see? Acoustics. Anyway, pretty cool cover. Like the hype sticker. So we went with it. That broke the seal. These, are again, are no particular order, but I do remember putting that one in my stack first. Uh, this one, I just love the cover. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just terrible photography, extremely dark. Uh, the graphics are horrible. Uh, an iconic song, of course, but I thought, well, this could be fun. This is reissued on Sun, the Sun label. Looks even got her fan club information. Pressed in Canada, I don't know too much about it. Again, it was, uh, as, as, uh, record state, as record store day finds go, a pretty cheap find and i thought well when are you ever going to see a clean copy of genie c riley's harper valley pta have no idea what this was i put this in my stack in a moment of weakness limited edition demos outtakes and live tracks joni mitchell blue highlights and uh, it's a nice package it's heavyweight vinyl and there's there's joni there um so you know it's got california case of you river various versions of all that. Uh, I don't know, you know. Uh, if I had known what I was going to put in this brown bag in the back, I probably would have uh, thrown this uh, thrown this back in the heat, but uh, maybe it's good. Who knows? Okay, how many versions of this record am I going to own in my lifetime? One of my favorite albums of all time, Nick Lowe, originally in the United States called Pure Pop for Now People because the British title, Jesus of Cool, was deemed unacceptable for us naive stupid americans so um i do have various versions of this i do have the yep rock version this is also yep rock but i do have the version that combines not combines but is basically both of the album covers in one album um this is called wireless world this was also a name that he considered uh for this album back in whenever it was somewhere close to 1980 i can't remember the exact year this was around the same time that uh, he produced Elvis Costello's uh, first albums. And so uh, it's a great album. There's a lot of great tracks on here. Um, you might be familiar with So It Goes, Little Hitler, Money for Nothing, I Love the Sound of Breaking Glass, Roller Show, Heart of the City, Mary Provost, funny song. Um, no, it's, it's full of hits, man. Nick Lowe can write a pop song. Pure pop for now, people. Jesus of cool. And now, wireless world. Wanted a little jazz. Uh, craft label usually puts out some pretty good stuff. Art Pepper meets the rhythm section. I don't know too much about it. Cover feels great. Very heavyweight. And uh, I'm just going to add it to my jazz collection. Again, had I known what the final selection was going to be in that brown paper bag back there, uh, I might have thrown this back on the on the heap but again we're celebrating we're celebrating some exciting radio news and uh i thought you know what i'm gonna treat myself i've never been to record day, uh store day before 
and uh, I'm gonna make make the most out of it. Have no idea what this is, but a compilation from Reprise or Reprise, Darlene Love, The Many Sides of Love, The Complete Reprise Recordings. Of course, Darlene starting with uh, Phil Spector back in the day on the Phillies label, the Phyllis or the Phillies label, and uh, moved over to Reprise. There's probably some very good vocals on here. Uh, recognize some of the uh, some of the song titles uh, by other artists, actually, like River Deep, Mountain High. But I love the cover. I love the colors. I love the hype sticker. I'm never on LP before. And it's on teal vinyl. Nice. I forgot to see if any of these others were on. I don't think so far any of these other uh, pressings I've shown you are on colored vinyl. All right, here's a band that you've never heard of and you should check out. And maybe I've mentioned them before on Media Room shows. But the Ruben News from California. John Rubin and these guys. Kind of surf punk, power pop from the same generation as Nick Lowe. You know, in that late 70s, early 80s. Really love their second album. This is their first. Their second album is called Back to the Drawing Board. And that's really good. It's got a lot of great pop stuff on there. Power pop. If you like the raspberries, you're going to love the Ruben News. Uh, so check them out. This one's on yellow vinyl. And this is their debut album. Funny painting on the front. Another painting on the back. Uh, they had a minor hit covering I Think We're Alone Now by Tommy James. Well, he didn't, Tommy James didn't write it, but Tommy James popularized it. And there you have a little sneak preview of what's next. The Jackson 5 ABC. I bought the Jackson 5 uh, Diana Ross Presents a couple of weeks ago, and so I wanted to have this. This is, I believe, their second album. Great hype sticker there. Um, this is not numbered like my other Jackson 5 record is. I don't know how many of these they did, but this is on 180 gram. Um, the... The... Diana Ross Presents was on 140 gram, which I thought was odd to put that on a hype sticker, 140 gram, because that's kind of just regular vinyl. So to, to go ahead and spell that out seemed weird to me, but this is going to be a fun listen, and I, I'm glad I have it in my collection. And then finally, I think this is finally, except for what's in the brown bag, Rory Gallagher, live in San Diego, 74. Again, uh, might have thrown that back on the on the heat, but I didn't, you know, when am I going to be at record store day again? Uh, it is a double album. It's very heavyweight, great gatefold uh, cover, and I haven't opened any of these yet, but um, I don't know. There's probably some good blues and some good guitar playing on here, messing with the kid and, and so on. Um, again, uh, you know, kind of got a little remorse about buying it, but hey, it could be phenomenal, right? Why not? And then finally, what's in the bag? Well, this is kind of why I went to Record Store Day, and you can take your guesses. Um, so I started out Piranha Records in Round Rock early in the morning today, and they were out of their allocation of this disc very quickly. And by the time I got in the store, they were gone. So I was kind of like, and that was one of the reasons why I picked up so many of these other titles is because um, I thought my Record Day, Record Store Day, was finished. But on the way home, I decided to divert to End of an Ear record store in South Austin, and they had a couple of these left. So I kind of manifested this, you know, I wanted it. I was trying to figure out a way to get it. And uh, here it is. How am I going to open it? And there it is. Fortunate to have it. I'm sure it will be a sellout. It's the Ramones, the Sire albums, 1981 to 1989. So basically their entire 80s output, starting with Pleasant Dreams. Also look up, uh, just as a side note, do some research on the uh, album art for Pleasant Dreams. Uh, there was a lot written about it at the time because the album art was suspiciously like some album art from an Austin artist for, a, a, I think, an Armadillo poster, maybe? Ar Armadillo World Headquarters poster. And uh, there was a little brouhaha about that back in the day. What is this? This is uh, seven albums in one box for a pretty good price, considering. So inside, 
we've got uh, still more stuff, rarities. So that's a new album. That's going to be on like a pink splatter vinyl. So starting with the earliest, it would be uh, Ramon's Pleasant Dreams there on the bottom, Subterranean Jungle, Too Tough to Die, Animal Boy, Halfway to Sanity, Brain Drain, which I think has... Does Brain Drain have Pet Cemetery on it? I think it does. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm glad I made the extra trip. Um, cost me a little more money, a little more money on Record Store Day to get this, but I'd be sick if I didn't have it. I don't have any of these on vinyls. and In fact, the hype sticker says that some of these titles have not been available in this century which basically means they probably haven't been repressed since they were originally done. So glad I took the trip to end of an ear and uh, completed my journey. But this is what I was basically going for. I would say in order, I wanted this. This was second on my list. Um, and the rest were just kind of unexpected. I thought I was going to get Wireless World, but I was hesitant because I have that in other configurations and then uh, I would say the Ruben news I wanted to go after because you rarely see that anywhere and if you do it's not going to be clean and you know the rest were just kind of impulse buys I might add I might add Harper Valley's PTA I thought about it and so there you go there it is that's the record store day 2022 media room hall I hope you had a chance to enjoy Record Store Day as well, if you're into that sort of thing. But uh, it can be a little bit expensive. But every once in a while, you've got to splurge and, um, you know, take care of yourself and do a little retail therapy, a little healing. All right. So there you go. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you soon in the media room.